Servus moin and hello friends. In this video I'm going to show you how you can get your very own research assistant powered by AI. I'm Lucas and during my PhD I did a ton of literature research and in this video I'm going to show you three awesome tools that you can use that basically give you a personal research assistant that makes it super easy to collect papers and other scientific information on things you're interested in that you might need for um, your studies if you're in college or your research if you're a full-time researcher and um, I wish I had these tools in college and, and during my time doing the PhD and so I'm sure they're going to be useful for you uh, as well. So the tool that I want to introduce you first is called Illicit. Illicit is wonderful because Illicit allows you to ask a question in normal language and then it returns paper results based on you asking that question with information from the papers it finds already extracted and easy to parse. So how does that look like? Let's um, jump into it. So this here is the main page for illicit.org. And as you can see, you can ask a research question, right? They have one here. Uh, what are the effects of mindfulness on decision making? And I think it makes sense when we use that question as our prompt. So what are the effects of mindfulness on decision making? Right, so we're asking this question in natural language. And so if we search, this is what you see. You get the paper titles that it finds, but it also gives you the takeaway from the abstract, right? So you can already see um, what it takes away from the abstract. You don't even um, have to parse all the abstracts uh, yourself. And then what it does is if you select this, um, it gives you a summary, again, the, the takeaway from the abstract, but it also does give you the, the abstract itself. And you can then go in and see, okay, first of all, this is machine learning. It's not perfect yet. Does the abstract match the thing um, that I was actually uh, looking for? What's extremely powerful though, and this takes it really to the next level, is that you can have it parse out um, what interventions it did, um, the outcome um, measured, right? So if we um, select here on the left for the intervention and outcome measured, you get additional um, columns in the table that tell you, okay, in this study, improving decision-making through uh, mindfulness, the intervention was um, mindfulness, and in this one it was mindfulness training, it probably was the, the same in, in both. Um, and then the outcome measured was decision making, risk preference, and so it already is smart enough to really look into um, what did they um, measure, what was the outcome, what was the intervention. It's just mind-blowingly awesome to um, have this as a tool to find papers relevant to your questions. And so that's illicit, right? This is basically the research assistant you've always wanted, right? Like you come up with a question, okay, what do I want to know? And then it goes out, finds the papers, kind of pre-summarizes them for you. And then you can select top um, to bottom, okay, I need this, I need this, I need this, this doesn't seem like it's matching. And then you have everything you need to do a proper literature review yourself. Awesome. The second thing that I want to show you is uh, connected papers. Because if you're looking for papers and, and browsing Google Scholar, for example, finding all the papers that a given paper cites is kind of annoying, right? You have to read through the uh, bibliography at, at the end, the literature list, um, and then finding all the other works that cite a given source um, is also a lot of work to, to parse this in, in the usual 
um, Google Scholar way of, of doing this or in your own library's um, uh, search engine. So instead, let's look at connected papers. So connected papers um, allows you to explore the graph of the paper you're interested in um, in a graph-like fashion, right? You don't have lists of uh, sources that it cites or uh, where it is cited, but you can see it nicely laid out in a graph fashion. So just scrolling down here, um, this is the graph for a paper called Science Mapping Software Tools, Reviews, Analysis, and Cooperative Study Among Tools. And here you see, okay, all the papers that are um, connected to this um, uh, paper, right? And then you can say, okay, I only want to see prior works, and it gives you a list um, that came before and you can look at derivative works. Those are the works that cite this particular paper, right? And this can make literature research a lot easier um, if you want to go manually from one paper and see, okay, what, what else is in the ecosystem around this paper? And then the third tool, and this is again, incredibly powerful and cool, is something called Research Rabbit. And Research Rabbit kind of takes what Connected Paper does, give you the graph view um, of the literature surrounding a certain search, and takes it to the next level because you collect papers into collections and then it finds sources related and cited by citing papers in that collection. Let's look, let's look at that in, in detail. So this is the, the research uh, screen here in Research Rabbit. And you see on the left, I have um, collections, right? Uh, learning in ill-structured domains. That's what I called um, this, um, this collection here. And I've added one central paper um, to this, right? Using knowledge discovery techniques to support tutoring in an ill-defined domain, whatever. But as you see, I also, if I open this collection, I also get this screen here now that shows me similar works, all the references, so everything this paper cites, and then all the citations every time this um, paper has been cited. I also can look at um, the authors and what else they've done and at suggested authors, right? And that's really cool. If I go to similar work, now I have here also a research graph and I can go through and say, okay, um, this seems to be a central paper and it just scrolls and scrolls and lets me um, look at this kind of stack of, of research information um, from left to right, right? And then I can say, okay, this paper um, looks really interesting. Let me add this to the particular uh, collection. And if I now go back to the left here, I see similar works has gone from, what was it, 170 something to 500, right? Earlier work is now 11, later work is two. Um, and so it kind of builds this understanding of the, um, research question and the literature for that question that you are um, trying to look at. And so those are three powerful tools I want you to use and try to use in your literature research for college, for your research um, in your PhD, because they're just incredibly powerful. They give you the power of an AI um, built research assistant at your fingertips um, and it makes life much, much easier to find sources that, that help you answer your questions. And with that, that's a wrap. Hope this video was useful. Somewhere here, I'm going to link you to my newest video and um, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.